everyone Paolo here so welcome back to my channel so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to set up the token for your github so a while back I was uh, updating some of my WordPress websites and I was using the terminal and when I push my changes to my or uh, repository I got this email from github saying a duplication notice uh, so basically what's this saying is I'm using a username password for my git and that's already duplicated so the suggestion is to use some token authentication so um, on their website on that link on the blog post um, some authentication based on some token based authentication are using personal access OAuth or github app so on this tutorial we're gonna go about using the personal access so if I go to my um, terminal here and just do a git pull you'd see that it's pulling it's saying there's no remote of the same name so it's working right now um, if I go to git config and type dash l to list uh, all my configuration you would see that the credentials is stored on the OS keychain so it's um, safe there so it's not prompting me to enter the password every time so to create a token let's create a token first so in order to get this to get here is you go to settings go to developer settings uh, personal access token and click on generate new token uh, it's gonna ask you the scope so I'm just gonna give this a name of local I'm just gonna select repo so I have full control um, I don't need the other settings here so I just scroll down at the bottom and click on generate token so this is the only time you would see this token so copy that and back here um, I can open up the keychain access and from here I could type from github and I would see that entry for uh, keychain and here's the thing so when you click on uh, show password this would show the password I'll just quickly hide that um, click password So basically you uh, paste in your uh, token inside the password section so when I hit save and I close this out that should get updated when I do a git pull here chances are sometimes it would still ask you to uh, authenticate but this time um, it didn't so if in case it asks you to authenticate just enter your username again and then enter the token that you just created so basically that's it so now you're using a token base um, for your authentication when you're pushing and pulling stuff from git so that's it i uh, hope you like this video for any questions uh drop them on the comment section below please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now